so good evening students who are present in this zoom meeting as well as watching on facebook live and other facebook viewers also welcome to all of you in this much awaited weekly program of tnp cell gju hisar which is named as weekly live webinar series of topic chosen for today is very much interesting and very much beneficial for all of you especially in this covid 19 situation where competitions are going to be more tougher so today you will be knowing about how to master linkedin students you know that uh, linkedin is the largest business oriented networking website geared specifically towards professionals 93% of the recruiters use linkedin to research and recruit the candidates it has over 500 million members in over 200 countries a professionally written linkedin profile allows you to create an online professional brand which can help open doors to opportunities and networks that you may not have been aware of without help of social media so such an important topic Uh, that is linkedin is today being covered so we are having with us a very important personality who is expert of this uh, linkedin thing so we are having with us mr sagar amlani i welcome him on behalf of training and placement cell mr sagar so before we start i would like to give brief introduction about mr sagar amlani who is our today's speaker so mr sagar is a professional speaker who empowers individuals to see opportunities hidden in adversities he is a living example of finding opportunities within adversities be it floods destroying his home in slums of mumbai or getting mugged on the streets of london while studying mba his humble background has always been the backbone of his values and ethics in life being a commended profile of 2019 on linkedin he coaches individuals for linkedin mastery being the host of linkedin local hyderabad he is a go getter and a natural giver to build a strong strong community and mr sagar strongly believes in three core values people are worth meeting stories are worth sharing and collaboration is more important as compared to competition so he generally talks on autonomous work culture building human connections and most importantly leveraging linkedin for professional and business mr sagar is a co-author of shifting gears and a global goodwill ambassador associated with an orphanage with 40 kids he is a strategic advisor to lww global and also he is currently working as vice president in a public limited organization and board member of psai that is professional speaker association of india so with this uh, much uh, rich uh, curriculum white a or cv we are having with us mr sagar who will be today interacting with all the students on very important topic of linkedin mastery so i request mr sagar to initiate please thank you very much sir that was a very humbling uh, introduction and uh, namaskar and good evening to everybody who is in the meeting either on zoom or on facebook uh, the topic that we are going to cover today is definitely going to change your life the way you look at social networking or you look at connecting with people and definitely it's going to add a lot of value to you so the three things that i want all of you to be ready with is first be ready with your linkedin profile if you not if you have not created create it today but if you have it keep it handy second be ready with a pen and a paper and the third thing which you need to do is have a bottle of water so that you don't have to go out or get up and wait for the water to come to you yes so let's start and uh, we'll start the session with linkedin mastery so as sir has already told about my journey i would say that i don't call it a curriculum vitae i call it as chol to villa my journey has been very very interesting exciting and it's it's like a rainbow so 
I was born and brought up in Mumbai, living in slums. And 2005, the floods destroyed us and we were on road for 40 days. And that is where it started my journey of networking. And networking with people, networking with friends, networking with colleagues. And that networking took me to a level where I started talking about productivity because every minute in my life was important. Every day in my life was important. And I'm sure all of you students, when you're studying and when you are uh, you know, going through a journey as a student, the life is very, very important. So you all have to remember that productivity and time are very, very critical and nothing comes easy in life. So let me take you through this journey where, uh, okay, I got a chat message, that's fine. So let's take this journey forward and let's move ahead. I'm the commended profile of 2019, which means out of 660 million profiles on LinkedIn, I am one of the selected ones out of the few. Yes, there were 14 or 15 people who were selected as a commended profile. I'm also a host of LinkedIn Local Hyderabad and a professional speaker. You can connect with me on LinkedIn with the URL given on your screen. You can just find me saying Sagar Amlani, S-A-G-A-R, a-M-L-A-N-I. Connect with me and let's learn more. So let's understand why LinkedIn. Sir has already given a brief description about why you should be on LinkedIn. So let me not take much time and give you just a gist. There are 660 million profiles on LinkedIn. 43% users are females. 57% are males. 57% of the users use mobile for LinkedIn. And there are 15% people who are influencers on LinkedIn, which means your chances of getting notified, hired, and getting a network with them is super amazing. Every single important person of HR is available on LinkedIn. So if you are looking for a good opportunity on LinkedIn, your visibility and your presence on LinkedIn is very important. Most of the students, what they do is, Whenever they finish their internship or they are just about to get into their internship or they want a job, they start connecting with people and start asking for a job. It doesn't work like that. You have to build your presence. You have to build your visibility and you have to build your network. And building a network takes time. Just by following one person for five days, uh, commenting on all his posts for five days, and at the end of the fifth day, you send him a request that, sir, I would like to connect with you and I'm looking for a job or an internship in your company. It doesn't work like that. I get not less than 50 connection requests like that, but it doesn't work. You need to invest your time, effort, and gratitude while you're networking with people. So let's take it forward. So today we are going to talk about ECG. So now your chat is open. I want you to answer, what do you understand by ECG? There is a lag of two, three seconds, which I understand, but people who are on Zoom, there is no lag. So give me your answers. Don't worry about being right or wrong. Let me know your answers. What do you mean by ECG? Ritika is saying electrocardiograph, good. Any other answers? I can see we are 73 people. Engine clutch gear, Praveen. Okay, brilliant. What else? What is ECG? Electrocardiogram. Okay, Sachin, nice one. Rajesh, good. Okay, so we are rotating around electrocardiogram. Well, that is exactly for human beings. But what do you mean by ECG for LinkedIn? So ECG for LinkedIn is a little different. So what is it? It is engagement, consistency, and groups. So what we are going to learn today is about these three things, engagement, consistency, and groups. So let's take the first thing. We all know what an ECG report looks like for a human being. Of course, it's a heartbeat. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down. 
But what does our ECG report in LinkedIn looks like? So as you can see on your screen, the ECG report of LinkedIn looks like this. The ECG is nothing but your social selling index. Now for people who want to know what is their social selling index, I am sharing the thing in the LinkedIn uh, on the Zoom chat. In your Google, type out SSI and space with a LinkedIn. The first link that you will get is your LinkedIn SSI score. You have to click on that to get your free score. You have one minute till I explain you this. Go offline, go online, check out your SSI score and get back to me. But remember, you have to ensure that you are having a LinkedIn profile before you get your SSI score. And this score is available completely free. All you have to do is go on to Google, type SSI LinkedIn. It will open a link for you. In that, you have to click get your score for free. So let's understand what is this SSI score. This SSI score is based out of four parameters. Establish your professional brand, which means you need to have a very good profile. Having an all-star profile is not enough. You need to have a complete profile in terms of the reader. We will explain you that. Second, you have to keep posting meaningful posts. Now that is a challenge for most of the students because they will say, what should I post? How should I create content? I will be covering that as well in today's topic. Second is finding right people. Yes, you have to go and connect to the right people. How to connect? I will give you a very easy tip. Engage with insights. Do not go on LinkedIn, similar to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and just type like, share, and connect. The most important thing is you have to create discussions. You have to create conversations. By the way, if you have found what is your SSI, you can put it in the chat box. The fourth point is build relationships. Building relationships with decision makers will not only help you to get hired, get your internships, but it will also help you if you are planning to have your own startup to find investors. Very good, Vishwas. 61 out of 100. Narendra, 35 out of 100. Good. So yes, we have now people giving out their SSI, which is very good. So I told you what are the four points of SSI. So what does it mean? So if you look on my screen, it says that I have my profile is 1% among the industry and 1% among the network. And my total score is 88 out of 100. So what is the significance of having this score? The higher the score, the better are your chances to get visible on LinkedIn. The higher the score, the better are the chances of you connecting with good people, right HRs to get better opportunities. Now, how do we increase LinkedIn? Now, I'm gonna play fastest finger first and I'm gonna answer, ask you a question. You are seeing on my screen there are some notifications. How many of you would love to see these notifications? If your answer is yes, just type Y. There are 70 people. I want to see how many would love to have these notifications on your screen. Come on, it's a fastest finger first. Type in, type in. Because if I see more answers, I get more energies and I'll give you more hacks. If I don't see answers, you will lose out on the hacks that I'm going to give. Brilliant, yes, so everybody wants to have this. So as you can see, I get a notification almost every other day that some of my posts are trending, either in India, networking or career or productivity. Normally the post that I do gets reshared. The reason why it gets reshared is because it is adding value to people. More than 20, 30,000 people. I have one of my posts which has crossed more than 87,000 views and it has got more than I think 600 people commenting on it. Now, this means that people value the content that I'm giving and the content on LinkedIn is not similar to Insta and Facebook. Please remember, Facebook, you can post anything and everything, but when it comes to LinkedIn, you need to show and you need to be very, very clear about what you are going to post. Let's go to the next step. 
the first step that we talked about. Remember ECG, which is engagement, consistency, and groups. So what we are talking about is engagement. So the most important thing for engagement and the first point on SSI is establish your professional brand. Now you cannot establish your brand unless and until you have your profile ready because that is your brand. You are the brand. So what is the most important thing when it comes to profile? The most important thing when it comes to profile is your photograph. The photograph has few things which you need to note, such as the photograph needs to cover 60% of the screen space. Have a smile on your face, avoid sunglasses. This is not Instagram, so please avoid sunglasses. Have a eye contact, because when you have a eye contact and when you're talking to people on a social networking platform, please note, LinkedIn started as a platform to give jobs, but it has now moved on and graduated from giving jobs to moving to a next stage, which is social networking. Yes, LinkedIn now is a social networking platform, which not only gives you jobs, but also creates opportunities for collaboration, for connecting with the right people, connecting with right influencers, and even getting investors for entrepreneurs. So profile picture is very important because if somebody wants to connect with you, they will go and see what is your profile picture? How confident are you? How serious are you? And how can people trust on you? The second most important area is the headline. So what is the most important thing in the headline? You need to ensure that your headline speaks about you. That my friend is your elevator pitch. For example, if you have 10 seconds to describe what you are doing, that one sentence is your elevator pitch. So do not try to put jargons there. Try to put what can you offer the community? So as a student, what can you offer the community is what you need to think. For example, if there is a student who is very good in analytics, all he can say is, I can offer organizations my analytical skills to perform X, Y, Z. Let's say there's a student who is very, very uh, good in uh, chemistry. A chemist with an exciting future is what you can say. Or you can say, I am interested in chemistry to understand more and deliver more. If someone is interested in let's say physics or any other stream of engineering, mechanical, computers. So I build softwares to enable better customer service or better customer experience. Like that, if you see mine, I have written as I empower you to see opportunities hidden in adversities. All of us, when we hit adversity, we start asking a question, why me? And why is God so, so hard on me? All we have to say is change the thought process. Instead of saying, why me? Why can't you say, wow, it's me again? And find an opportunity in, in that. Friends, please understand. I have lived in a slum for more than 12 years. I had my house swan away by the floods in 2005. But 2007, I struggled within two years. 2008, I was in London, completely funded by myself without a bank loan. And I studied there and I was one of the best students in that university. Today, even if you Google my name, Sagar Amlani, S-A-G-A-R-A-M-L-A-N-I and put Middlesex, M-I-D-D-L-E-S-E-X University, I will be the first student appearing on the site. And that's because I have lived what I wanted. I have achieved what I wanted. So my friend, always remember, there is no adversity in the world that can hamper you or that can destroy you. It's your mindset. So have a right mindset. Yeah, let's move on to the next point. Let's play the fastest finger first again. How many of you have the blue screen behind your photo on LinkedIn? If you have a blue screen, just type B. If you have a blue screen, just type B. 
if you don't have a blue screen, you don't need to reply. That's okay, perfectly fine. Brilliant. So now, what is this blue screen? This blue screen is a personal branding space. How much money do we pay for advertising, don't we? We pay a huge amount of money for advertising. So LinkedIn is giving us this banner completely free of cost. All you have to do is, if you can see on my screen here, I am having a pen icon here near the button more. So whenever you go into your LinkedIn profile, you go into view my profile and click on edit, you will see this pen icon. Click on the pen icon and you will be able to change your banner. What you need to do is you can create your own banner which can look like this. Now this banner talks about what I do, shows what I have achieved in life and also visualizes that if you have a ladder or if you have an arrow which is broken, I can provide you the ladder. So the banner is a very useful thing to identify what are your skills, what are your passions and what do you want to offer to the world. Every single human being is different. So do not worry. Do not think that what should I have in my banner? If you have questions, reach out to me. I will be more than happy to help you. Now coming to the second part, which is summary. Most of us, we have a summary which is written in either third person or we just write it as a CV. Please note it down. About you is not a summary to be written in first per, uh, third person. The summary is not your CV. So what is your summary? For example, if you are meeting me or if I'm going to meet you, how will I introduce myself to you? I will say, hi, I'm Sagaram Nani. I'm working in this organization. I'm a host of LinkedIn Local Hyderabad and I'm a professional speaker. I'm an explorer for productivity and productivity is my key. I love to find and talk about productivity. Now, when I talk all this, I was talking in the first person. So my friend, you have to follow the same because on LinkedIn, about summary is a social connection. People are trying to connect on your profile. But if I write, hi, this is Sagaram Nani. He is a professional speaker. It does not build a connection. Who is he? Why do you have to write in third person? So write it in the first person. Always target your reader. Write what your reader wants to know, which means write about yourself, what they want to know. And how do you write it? So the most important question here is, ask yourself these four questions. Who you are, what you do, why do you do, what you do, and how are you different? Because when you answer these questions, people will know who is that person? What is his passion? What does he do? What is his expertise? And how is he different from others? Because there are more than 100,000 gurus on LinkedIn. Why choose Sagar? There are more than 1,000 people who will become graduate this year in engineering. So why somebody? Why you? And that is where you have to identify your niche. Now, always remember, facts and numbers are very important. When I say this, most of the students come to me and ask, sir, I don't have an experience. So what will I write there? Don't worry. In your life, you would have done some projects. In your college, you would have done some assignments. I'm sure during your education life, you would have participated in some paper presentations, some national level competitions. In your school, you have been a good painter, a good artist or in, in class you have been a first ranker, why not? All these are your achievements as a student. It's not easy for any student to score marks, isn't it? It's not easy for a student to participate in a paper presentation. It's not easy for anybody to do a project and achieve first marks. So all that, my friend, are your achievements. Don't be afraid, put them, put the numbers, put the facts, put the figures, create a story and always remember, Give a good conclusion. And if possible, have a call to action. Now, what do I mean by call to action for students? Always remember, 
you don't have a website you don't have a business so what is a call to action for students for students a call to action is what are you willing to offer to the organizations or to the hr who is reading your profile and how can that person connect with you apart from linkedin so you need to give your email address and number there are certain uh, issues when it comes to giving your number because for girls there are people who would take advantage of that so i would suggest don't give your number in that area give your email address that's fair enough i can understand because not everybody will be genuine so that's one tip always have a good conclusion apart from that as you can see in the box there are various other sessions which is featured background skills accomplishment all these are a part of your cv this box becomes your cv where you can upload your education where you can upload your marks where you can upload your certifications where you can upload your achievements where you can also upload your photographs let's say if you have won a convocation certificate or let's say you have won a debate in a school or in a college or you have been one of the best students of the year why not use the media and put it right there now comes the most important part which is recommendations now why this is important there are more than 70 students right now on the zoom chat there are more than 2000 students in your college i'm sure you all have worked with each other in some of the other committees or in some of the other projects or in some of the other classes why don't you ask each other to recommend you for the skills that you have now the most important thing that you need to be aware here is do not fake your recommendations do not try to create a recommendation for your friend without knowing it try to recommend genuine things for your friend because if you lie on a recommendation people will know it because fake recommendations can be easily identified because you both are from the same college if you are going to write too many things about your friend as a fake recommendation as a scripted recommendation the reader knows that you are trying to just help your friend don't do that try to write a genuine recommendation it can be five lines no problem have a recommendation from your teachers ask your teachers to give you recommendation you are going on internship ask your uh, senior uh, people or ask your mentor to recommend you on linkedin and they will be happy to do that so always remember do not fake your recommendations now i'm sure you all would love to have a digital visiting card so i'm going to give you the digital visiting card using your mobile phone i'm sure all of you have a smartphone yes take your smartphone open your linkedin app you will see this four icons on the top bar once you have seen that click on the four buttons it will open up this screen once you see this on your mobile phone please note this is only available on mobile phone if you try on desktop it will not open so on your mobile when you have a linkedin app click those four buttons it will take you to this screen with scan you can scan a qr code when you click on my code it will take you to this screen which means this my friends is your digital visiting card this is your digital cv so if anybody is asking you your cv if you give this qr code your complete linkedin profile is available to them and you will appear to be a smart person now i will take a break for drinking water here to get my energy back in that one minute you can try scanning this qr code with your mobile phone and check are you getting my linkedin profile if you're getting my linkedin profile you know that whatever trick i've told you works and you can use it to share it with your friends you can use it on your cv you can use it anywhere start using this qr code and become smart person to share your linkedin profile with all your recruiters with all the people that you know try it and i'm going to take a water break
So Yashika has asked me a question that can I repeat the second step? Yes, Yashika. Take your mobile phone, open the LinkedIn app. You will see these four buttons. Click on the four buttons which are there on your search bar. It will take you to this screen. There are two options available. First one is scan. Second one is my code. When you open scan, you can scan any code. When you click on my code, you get your digital CV. It's your digital visiting card. I hope that has answered your question, Yashika. If that is the answer, and if you're okay, just type yes so I know it's answered. Brilliant. Muskan, you can type your questions in chat and we will take it later. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Now I've been telling about working smart. I've been telling about productivity and I've been talking about being productive. So let me give you this hack. LinkedIn supports you to have LinkedIn and Twitter together. How can you do that? The best way to do is go into your LinkedIn profile, click on the me icon, scroll down to settings. Once you click on settings, you will see four tabs. The tabs are as shown here, account, privacy, ads, and communication. Go and click on accounts. When you click on accounts, scroll down till you come partners and services. Once you are at partners and services, click on the Twitter settings. When you click on Twitter settings, it will ask you for your Twitter account, which means if you have a Twitter account, you can create a link here. And the best part is everything that you post on LinkedIn will go on Twitter. So you don't have to manage two different social media accounts. You post on LinkedIn, it will appear on Twitter and you are doing a smart work. That means you are killing both the social medias by using the same content. Now, there are certain students who come back to me and ask a question that, sir, in LinkedIn, there are 500 words, but in Twitter, it only takes 220 words. Don't worry. The first 220 words will go on LinkedIn and the uh, on Twitter, sorry, and the remaining will come as a link. So if anybody is liking whatever you are posting on Twitter, they will click on your LinkedIn profile and they will again come to your LinkedIn profile and they will connect with you. So your LinkedIn profile gets better visibility. For anybody who wants to try this, you can try it and let me know. Coming to the third point, which is URL. Now this, you can do it from your desktop. Go into your LinkedIn profile, click on the me icon and click on view profile. When you, you view your profile on the right hand top corner, you will see edit public profile and URL. Now LinkedIn gives you a normal random URL. For example, my URL, which was written as Sagar Dash Amlani, C Engineering, et cetera, et cetera. Now I don't know where it came from or how it came. So all I had to do is go here and change it. So for every student, let's say you are a student in engineering and you have your passion in subject of thermodynamics and some law or something that attracts you, try putting it. For example, I say to my professional friends, like let's say somebody is a, is a coach or a leadership coach. So they will type it as leadership coach Subash. So let's say if there is a student who is a chemical engineer. So every time you can do is Chemical engineer, Sagar. So what happens is it becomes very easy for anybody to realize using your URL, oh wow, so this guy is a chemical engineer. Very simple and straightforward. Let's say if you are interested in Google Analytics or if you're interested in gamification or if you're interested in data analysis. So all you can say is data scientist, Sachin. Now what it means, every time you give your URL to your friends, all you're going to say is my URL on LinkedIn is data scientist Sachin, which means you are marketing yourself just by giving your URL. 
Isn't that very interesting way to market yourself? Ritika, I will answer your question. Don't worry. So now coming to connections. Now, this is the tip I was talking about. How many times do you write or request a connection to someone and you don't get a reply? If you have faced this and you want to know the answer to this, and if you're attentive, type, I want to know. Type in chat, I want to know. If you want to know how can you get connected to people and you want to know the hack, type, I want to know. Your answer means you are awake, you are attentive and you're listening. Bridgesh, smart cookie. Brilliant. So now let's understand what happens here. So most of the time when we send a connection, what we do is we scroll on our mobile phones or on our laptop and wherever see a connect button, we will say connect, 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 connect. Isn't that true? Yes, it is. So what happens when you do that? The person who is getting a connection request will not be able to identify who you are and why do you want to connect to them? Now I get not less than 35 to 40 connection requests every single day. Every single day, every single session I complete, I will get 35 to 40 connection requests. Now, how do I remember which student, what relation? I don't do it. So the hack is very simple for anybody is make your messages personalized. What you need to do is very simple. You write to them. How do you know them? If you have met them, fine. Like if you have met me today in this session, you can write it that way. If not, you can write about what did you go and check in your profile. So what you need to do is go to their profile, check their activity, check about their recent post, check about their articles, and then write to them, sir, I've read your article or, or your recent post was very, very interesting. I would like to connect with you and learn more about that topic. I would love to learn about productivity. And then you tell about a little bit about yourself and then give a conclusion. Thank you very much. Thank you in advance. Thank you for connecting. I will be happy to connect with you. Guaranteed, if you write a message like this, you will guaranteed get two results. The first result is you will get a reply from the person because you have taken effort because if you go to and write to a person who is not active on LinkedIn, you will never get a reply. But because you have gone into that activity, you have seen that, yes, they are active. They have written a post just two days before and not two years before. You know that they are active. So first is you will get a reply from them. Second, if they have not exhausted their connections, which is 30,000 connections, they will connect with you because everybody loves people who take effort. Everybody loves to connect with people who take one step extra to connect to people. My friends, please remember, if you appreciate someone, they will always be happy. Gratitude is the biggest key. So take a screenshot if you want, take a photograph of this slide. In case if you're not able to do it, connect with me on LinkedIn. I will give you this slide or a hack to take this points down. If you have a pen and paper, I will give you a, a minute, write it down, don't worry. Brilliant. So now let's pay fastest finger first again. What is missing on this slide? The first person to answer will get to know how to create a banner. The LinkedIn banner I'm going to answer, but the first person to click here will get my help to do that. What is missing on this slide? Let's play fastest finger first. Come on, what is missing on this slide? Don't worry, nothing will be wrong. Just keep typing. 
Ankit Verma, name, okay. What else? What is missing on this slide? Content, okay. Any other answers? Sachin Yadav, nothing. Sachin, there is 100% something missing in this slide. So you can scratch your head and try it. Person description, no. Conclusion, profile, message, share, comment option. Vishwas, brilliant. Perfect answer. So yes, my friends, what is missing on this slide is comments. Now, most of the time when we post a content on LinkedIn, we expect that hundreds of people should comment on it. Hundreds of people should, uh, you know, engage in the discussions. Don't you think that is the expectations we all have? Yes, we do. But when it comes to our side, what we do, we will take our mobile phone, keep scrolling and just like, 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 share content. That's it. So we don't want to give comments to people, but we want comments from people on our profile. Now that is not the right way to network. I'll tell you a story here. I wanted to connect with one of the influencer and I was trying to connect with him for more than three months. I won't reveal the name here right now, but I'll tell you the story and you can guess the name. So I was trying to connect with him from last three months and I was trying to, you know, uh, engage on his post. I was sending him the inbox messages and whatnot, but it didn't work out. Just three days back, there was a big debate going on on one of his posts. The post was about leadership. So I started communicating on that post and started engaging with other people who were commenting on the post as well. Now, I never knew that because of my conversations and bringing out those kind of uh, you know, the knowledge points or those kind of expert opinion from my side after two hours. And, uh, you know, I think 18 or 19 uh, conversations that happened between many other people on that chat, I got an invitation from that person and he accepted my connection request. And today I am working on a project with him. I'm collaborating with him on one of the project and that's the power of comments. So always remember, if you want to get noticed, if you want to get connected to a person, if you want to get the right job, if you want to get notified in that person's eyes, engage, comment on their post, engage on their profile, and try to be as active, as positive. And when I say commenting, don't try to use a comment, thank you, congratulations, best wishes, awesome, no. Try to share your thoughts for that post Every single person on this earth has an opinion. The only difference is either you voice it out or you don't voice it out. Now coming on to the second piece, which is consistency. We have got a good profile. We have understood about engagement. We have understood about how can we leverage that profile. But without consistency in our content, there's nothing useful. So what is content is a question that all the students keep asking me that said, I'm a student. I don't have a content. My friend, the content that you guys have, nobody in the world has. Why? Every single day you have a lecture and you learn something. Use it as a content and share it with LinkedIn. The, the learnings that you get on a day-to-day -day basis, there are case studies which are discussed. There are thermodynamic laws which will be discussed. Let's say there would be some engineering uh, formulas that will be discussed. Not everybody would know that formulas. Not everybody would be understanding those areas, right? So everything that you learn, try to create a story around it. Try to post an image around it and try to create the content. Let's say you have learned about something which is very different. Let's say you've learned about a boiler. Let's say you've learned about some mechanical uh, stress and stress curve. Let's say you've learned about computer engineering. Let's say you've learned about some kind of a coding. Create it as a content and share it and let the world know. Why not? So you can do anything and everything to create a content. Let's say you have had a guest lecture. Talk about that guest lecture. Talk about the three points that that guest lecture has given me. Now today, 
you can post about what did you learn in linkedin mastery what are the three points that you learned create a post out of it and let the world know tag me the minute you tag me what happens my network will get connected to you you can create a video testimonial you can give me a video testimonial of 30 seconds what did you learn today what was your expectations what did you find in today's session now coming on to the hack always remember do not use more than three hashtags if you are creating a video it should be less than 1 minute yes linkedin allows videos for 10 minutes but creating a video less than 1 minute will have more followers and always remember you can create a document which is nothing but a simple ppt with big letters and anything that you have learned you can put as a five slide or a six slide and that becomes a document now there is something new that has started which is creating polls you can create n number of polls that you want and people will start polling you can start asking polls about your studies you can start asking polls about internship what do you expect from the students when they come for internships option 1 option 2 option 3 option 4 you will get your answers now celebrate now this is not for the students right now but you can still give kudos to your teachers you can give kudos to your guest lecturers you can give kudos to me you can give kudos to anybody on linkedin giving kudos is nothing but appreciating the person you can go into start a post and it will give you options about celebrating your teammate or giving kudos try them try everything new that is on linkedin because it will help you avoid this slide right now because you don't need a scheduler and it's costing money so i don't want to discuss it right now do not spam your friends do not try to share the content which is not relevant for linkedin because you will try to share the content which is not relevant on linkedin and you will create problems your for yourself people will not be interested and people will start avoiding you or blocking you or stop following you so do not spam your friends do not spam your network now comes the most important thing for groups there are 30000 connections which linkedin allows but in groups there's absolutely no limit you can connect to as many people as you want for example if you want to connect to all the hrs all you need to go is go into your search bar type hr click on the more button and go into groups you will be connected to 50000 hrs in that group i will show you when we stop the screen share and i'll show you how you can connect to the groups or i can show it right away give me one second and i will open it up for you yes so you have it on my screen right now what you need to do is go into search bar and type hr click on more groups so your training and placement officer pratap sir you can connect to all these people let's say in software technology professionals managers if you get yourself in this group you will be connected to 19 lakh people human resources talent management executives 5 lakh people will be available for you hr jobs linkedin hr these are the groups you can use for all your students to get them training and placement sir don't worry i will send you the screenshot i will i will send you all these details on your whatsapp don't worry because all the students you can ask your sir to get connected here let's say if you want to learn about uh, digital marketing so digital marketing so now if you see in digital marketing you have so many people in so many groups all you need to do is go and join the groups once you join the groups you will start learning from them you will start what they need to do what they have to do and that my friend is one of the biggest hack right now i have given you now let's move on to the next topic or the next slide now I want you to type one aha moment. I've been talking for last one hour. 
what is the one thing that you learned or what was the one thing that was a wow for you in today's session i would love to know your answers in the chat option we have not completed yet there are more things to come but i just want to know up till now what is one thing that was a aha moment for you content and connection groups ssi score digital cv searching groups brilliant twitter and linkedin very good code sharing yes it is twitter connections yes yes groups brilliant ssi bingo so now if these are your connecting skills like minded people yes you can connect to like minded people brilliant so now if these are your learnings let's take it to the next level so what i do normally is i have secret strategies which i have learned in past 2 years apart from that i also share with students and other people success lessons what i've got and the trending hashtag now what do i mean by trending hashtag let's see who has got the best internet connection right now and who is attentive i want you guys to type on your linkedin search hashtag c a r e e r the word is in your chat box tell me nee how many followers are there in this hashtag let's see who is attentive right now hashtag career i'm giving you one of the secrets quick 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 hashtag career 4 lakh 26313 madhur you are absolutely right but there's no fun in this there's no magic in this right so let's add some magic what is that trending hashtag or what is a fun now type the same hashtag hashtag c a r e e r and add the first letter of my name which is s which makes it careers hashtag careers let's play fastest finger first brilliant so do you see the difference by just knowing the right hashtag 4 lakh followers is converted to 22 lakh followers now imagine you are trying to post your cv and you use a hashtag career or if your friend who is knowing this hack and he types hashtag careers his chances of getting notified are three times more because 4 lakhs and 22 lakhs now that is what i share what i share extra is i give 30 minutes of personal call 30 minutes of personal call with me all this is available for me with 22000 on a normal day but because this is for the students this is only for the students i am giving this for just first 50 students this offer is available for 2000 so what you get here you get linkedin profile analysis with me you get five lessons you get the secret strategies and exercise for each lesson and all this is done on whatsapp you don't have to invest your time i will send you a message a broadcast on whatsapp i will give you a personal call a personal attention and you can do it at a free will but all this is available by scanning this qr code use winner when you scan the qr code you will get a link use winner as a password and that amount will reduce from 5000 to 2000 and that is available only for first 50 people and that window will close down after that so if you think you want to know more if you think you want to get notified if you think that yes linkedin is a space for you to explore this is your moment to do it so what you are getting you are getting secret strategies success lessons trending hashtags and 30 minutes of 
personal call with Sagar Amlani. All you need to do is scan the QR code, use the password winner and check the link. The link is also available on Mera events. When you go into Mera events and type LinkedIn Mastery with Sagar, you will get the code. Use the code winner. It is available for only 50 lucky winners. Pratap sir, I will be opening for questions in another five minutes. So you can list out all the questions. Vikas, you can list out all the questions everybody has. And people can uh, ask me as many questions as they want. Scan this QR code, use the winner code. And this is available only for first 50 winners. Yes, I will also uh, add this link in the chat box. I will stop share right now. There are people who are asking me for the link on the private message. I better post it on the chat. I'm posting this link on the chat. It is available only for first 50 people. Yes, sir. I'm open for questions. We can take as many questions as we okay. want. So thank you, Sagarji, for a very wonderful session. So regarding questions, uh, we can do one thing. Initially, we will take uh, the questions from the students present uh, in this Zoom room. So the students sure. who, are, who are willing to ask the question, they can uh, make their video on. So as soon as they will make their video on, they will come on the screen and we will unmute them and they can ask the question. Absolutely no problem. So till the meantime, I had a question from somebody regarding the banner. So this is for all the students. You can create your banner uh, using various tools available online. Like one of the student has already said, uh, Coral, PPT and other areas. You can always do that. Can you repeat how to link LinkedIn and Twitter? Yes, Shraddha, I can do that. Canva is an amazing tool. Yes, Vishwas. Canva is a very amazing tool. You can use it. So let me answer Shraddha's question. Uh, Shraddha, you have to go into your settings. When you click on your settings, it will show you four tabs. Use the first tab, which is account. Scroll down on partners and services. In partners and services, you will see the Twitter settings. Trending hashtags also keep on changing. So how do you get to know about time to time? Neha, I have been researching for all the hashtags from last two years, and I have a list of 60 trending hashtags which I follow on everyday basis. And that's exactly what I offer in my masterclass that is available on your screen. So the masterclass that I offer teaches you how you can do it. And that is a crux which I've learned in last two years. So uh, Sagarji, meanwhile, we can take the questions which are al already with us. Sure, so, sir. yeah, one student, uh, Jatin from BTEC, he has uh, asked the question that uh, how should we fill the application while applying for the job so that it makes positive impacts uh, regarding applying, LinkedIn? Applying an application for a job is very, very subjective, sir, because it depends on what are the questions that are asked in application form. Okay. I might not be the right person to answer it without looking at the application form. Okay. Uh, there's an answer question from Aditya. Can you share your PPT? Aditya, I will not be able to share my PPT, but if you register for my program, I will definitely be able to share the cheat sheets, the codes, and the other details with you. Bridgesh is asking, is it worth using non-premium account? Bridgesh, I've been using non-premium account for two years, and only now, after I have reached to more than 15,000 followers, I've started using premium, because that is becoming more difficult for me to use it without non-premium. So for all the students, I would suggest do not invest money on premium account. Everything that you want out of a premium account, I can teach you in this workshop that I'm going to take. Sagarji, one question is from a research scholar of yes. CMT department of our university. Sure. How important is LinkedIn for research scholars to publicize themselves and get academic contracts and jobs? Brilliant question. So for that gentleman, my answer would be LinkedIn gives you an opportunity to publish your publications. 
the more publications you public uh, you uh, upload on linkedin you are getting more visibility to all the education sectors second thing now to do your research you use google you use other uh, areas where you do the research papers you find out the research but there are so many research scholars research uh, things that are happening in the groups that if you are entering into a right group the discussions the links the articles that are being shared in that group are not available on the normal linkedin open feed that are available only on the group platforms so that is the area where linkedin helps you the third point is you get connected to influencers who can help you in your research who can also help you in funding your research and who can also help you to get your research to a commercial level so i think these are the three main answers for publications and getting connected okay yeah thank you sagar ji uh, one more question regarding business has come so one student vivek of btech has asked that how can we use linkedin for promoting business because for getting recruitment opportunity is one thing but for promoting business how we can uh, use linkedin linkedin offers you business pages linkedin offers you company pages and linkedin also offers you linkedin ads you can use all this to promote your uh, business uh definitely if you want to know more i do one on one coaching for business people i have coach uh, ceos and other people i can show some recommendations for students so that they can uh, see what is the impact that uh, linkedin brings so let me answer that point by showing this slide resume the slide show yeah so is my screen visible sir uh not yet uh, okay is yeah. it visible now yeah 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 it's okay it's visible now yeah so now students can check that you know i had i had a recommendation coming directly from the president of icf mumbai chapter and i have also been a coach to mr sandeep lala who is a pgdm student and uh, these recommendations speak for itself so anybody and everybody can definitely have advantage from linkedin be it a business person be it a student because getting hired getting job getting investors getting partners getting collaborators everything is available on linkedin and linkedin does not restrict you only to india you can get opportunities from all over the world and today during covid the world has moved from physical to virtual so today if you are sitting in jharkhand ranchi assam Sing uh, wherever you can still get a job from google because google is completely virtual now you can get a job from google you can get a job from amazon you can get a job anywhere if you are a content writer you can write content for anybody and everybody all over the world but how do you connect to the world you connect through linkedin so rightly replied uh, sagar ji many students have asked questions but i think you have already replied in your uh, Like yeah, there is one uh, which I have not yeah. answered here, which is Vishwas Bajaj. Okay. What should be the frequency of content posting on LinkedIn for better engagement? Yes. Vishwas, my answer, uh, you know, as we started with ECG, and you know, ECG is related to something to doctor. So let me give you the pills for LinkedIn. What are the three pills? So my pill is, if you really want to get very good in engagement, you have to have three pills in a day: morning, afternoon, evening. but if you want to be a normal engaging person the simple strategy is you need to post at least once a week minimum so uh, any other student who is willing to ask the question uh, from neha to everyone yeah i have already answered that yeah. they keep changing time to time but i have been i have been uh, monitoring this and aditya the point is you have to keep monitoring i've been monitoring them for last 2 years and i have a repository of all the trending hashtag weekly daily monthly yearly and i also know the number of followers and uh, that is available on my course the scan scan the qr code use the code join the course and i will teach you how to do that shraddha nasa how, how to increase to, our connection how to increase our connections i mean what people see so that they accept our connections shraddha i have covered everything during my uh, session i hope uh, you've been attending because to repeat and answer your question i will have to repeat at least half an hour or you can connect with me one on one on linkedin and we can take it forward
so sagar ji i think uh, most of the questions have been uh, uh, replied by you in your session my pleasure sir uh, so in the end uh, i think uh, all the students are satisfied right now uh, due to the entire session given I by sagar ji vikas has one more question i yeah, will yeah. Give, give him a golden yeah. question answer so yeah. vikas you have a chance to ask your golden question and ask it yes vikas make your video <laughs> on and you can ask right please good evening sir good, good evening, evening. uh sir my question is there is any way uh, by which we can get more job notifications from companies through linkedin yes the first thing is you are too much in stress so first thing is i would love to have your smile back have a good <laughs> smile on your face you are connecting with me virtually don't take stress life is not easy with stress yes. so all you need to do is start getting more active on linkedin so what's your background what are you studying right now vikas uh, right now i'm in my room no no what are you studying as in uh, uh, okay okay uh, i'm a pursuing mba marketing from two chambers you know brilliant so let's say you are pursuing mba in marketing now if you start yeah. posting more content about marketing if you start writing more strategies about marketing if you start posting more content about how marketing is to be done what are the things marketing is to be done what are the different levels of okay. marketing every single person who is following your post will be interested to get connected with you and you will be surprised that somebody might approach you to do marketing for their own company can it can be a startup it can be a a uh, individual firm it can be anything and digital marketing vikas right now is a gold mine yeah of course sir i'm doing a uh, mba the digital marketing brilliant. so i have a little bit of knowledge about the digital marketing and brilliant I, uh, so i'm also working over there so. brilliant so exactly as i told you you start posting content about your niche what is digital okay. marketing how it helps what are the tools and techniques that people can use for digital marketing what is mean by facebook ads what are the digital marketing courses that people can do what are the benefits of digital marketing how the world is moving from physical to digital marketing and when you start posting all this your profile yes, becomes better and better people connect with you and when people connect with you your network increases and you land up in a good opportunity thank sagar you sagar ji sagar ji some uh, first year students are also on our uh, facebook live Sure, so they, uh, so one student has asked that uh, how it is different for a first year student uh, to uh, start uh, making use of linkedin as compared to final year student who is just uh, going to enter in the industry so how a first year student can initiate can that's a brilliant question from the student because uh, let me answer it in a very very simplest way if you want a job okay let me let me also say it as a story because यू नो वो मजा आएगा ज्यादा सो हमें जब पानी चाहिए सर तब हमें कुआं खोदना है या हमें कुआं पहले खोदना है जब पानी की जरूरत ना हो सो द आंसर इज राइट देयर यू नीड टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन योर लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो इफ यू हैव अटेंडेड दिस सेशन टुडे इफ यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी मेक योर लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल राइट नाउ कनेक्ट विद मी स्टार्ट गेटिंग मोर नॉलेज बिल्ड योर लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल राइट नाउ so by the end of first year when you are entering in your second year and you want your internship your profile is so strong you have connected with so many people that aapko ek jagah se internship nahi aapko 10 jagah se internship ke call aane chahiye that should be your goal and after you complete your internship your linkedin profile should be even stronger that when you want your job you don't want a job from one person but you can become a entrepreneur you can become a boss of your own you can start your own digital marketing company or in case if you're an engineer or an mba student who wants to get into some job you should have job offers connected to more than 10 people and that my friend is not a one day work or a six months work it requires time and that's exactly when i say that mai mere do saal ka nichod nikal ke aapko ye 15 din ke workshop mein dene wala hu and this 15 days i'm not going to connect you every single day i will connect with you five times but i will give you 48 hours to complete your task to complete your lessons to achieve your target and i have had people coming back to me saying ke sir mera profile from 70 has become to 80 there is a video testimonial given to me on linkedin people can check it there is there is a person who has got 1100 percent increase in profile views just within 7 days of connecting this there was a hr person 
who connected to 15 ceos and she got a job for herself after 10 days of this workshop so this is the power of this workshop and everything that i uh, speak friends is available on my profile you can check on the recommendation you can connect with those people and then ask them their feedback yes sir so i think i have answered yeah. the question very yes, well yes. and uh, that student would definitely be happy listening on facebook yes sir you have replied very rightly sure sir so i think uh, we have taken all the questions and uh, all the things have been covered by you so in the end on the behalf of uh, our training placement cell guru jambeshwar university of science and technology hisar uh, i would like to express my heartiest thanks to sagar ji uh, for this uh, wonderful brilliant session and uh, students uh, have come to know about linkedin and i am hopeful that they will uh, build their linkedin profile and they will uh, move in this direction so in the end uh, sagar ji i would request you to uh, conclude this uh, entire program by uh, your own words after that we will end the session concluding remarks please no problem so thank you very much for inviting me and connecting with me the students i would be happy to connect with all the students because i believe they are the future and me being a person coming from a very humble background uh, struggling and coming all the way here i would say that education is the only thing that has helped me to do that without education i would have been nothing for now there are examples in the world jinhone padhai nahi ki and they have achieved something but i am telling you that it is education that has given me this platform today as a vice president a board member of professional speakers association of india is only because of education so my request to all the listeners right now please invest your time in education please invest your energy to get the best education and my best wishes to all of you connect with me on linkedin my name is very easy s a g a r a m l a n i i will also give the link to pratap sir he can give it to everybody thank you very much again best of luck to every single student thank you sagar ji and uh, i also express my thanks to all the viewers who have watched this show on facebook live and uh, on next friday we will be coming with a next new topic on which you will be and getting information like this so till then goodbye thank you to all